Okay, so this is what I'm starting with. I have um, my pencil, eraser, um, some black markers, either a Sharpie or I've got my Artline pen and obviously a sharpener in case I need it. I've got some markers, some textures and um, some inspiration. So I'm going to draw a picture of the bad guys um, or something from the bad guys. Um, I'm thinking Special Agent Fox is what I'm going with today. This is the type of paper I'm using today. I'm using a mixed media paper. You can use whatever type of paper you've got. You don't need a particular type of paper. And also if you don't have markers, you can use pencils or something like that. So this is book number 12. And um, it is the bad guys in the one. It's going to be a movie soon, which is pretty exciting. And I'm looking at these pictures and I'm thinking that I might go with um, Special Agent Fox, but you can do whatever type of cartoon you want. And I'm going to take inspiration from Roy Lichtenstein and his pictures and the way he draws cartoons. You can draw any um, cartoon that you like. I'm also gonna use a ruler actually. I just want to give it a border. You don't have to give it a border, but um, I just think it might look nice. You can measure this out if you want to. I'm not. I'm just trying to do it as evenly as I can, but in the actual picture, it's not actually a perfect square and it's not drawn with a ruler. So I'm just going to look at the picture and try and draw it as, as well as I can by copying. Um, you can do this in any way that you like. If you like to draw it by um, just looking at the picture, if you want to trace the picture by putting it up to a window, whatever you want. Um, really, um, what you're trying to achieve is to do a picture like Roy Lichtenstein, it's not so much about um, drawing from scratch and getting it all perfect. So I'm going to include a speech bubble and the speech bubble is going to be up here. Um, actually it's going to be a thought bubble and I'm going to make it so it covers her ear a little bit um, and then the little bubbles that go down to her head like a thought bubble. I'm going to kind of make it overlap just a little bit on the ear but so you can still see the ear. And I'm going to make the thought bubble actually go outside of the border.
Okay, so the way that I got my my lettering right is I looked up how Roy Lichtenstein actually writes when he makes his artwork and he makes it look like it's in a comic book. Um, so I tried to copy his his lettering as best as I could. It's not perfect, but it's kind of close to the way he does it. Um, on top of that, I've tried to use bold lines. So um, I wasn't really happy with the Sharpie. I started with the Sharpie and I felt like it was bleeding into the paper a little bit. So I wanted to go with the art line marker. So I've used that. I'm now going to erase um, all my pencil lines and then I'm going to get into the coloring. I've added in some lines and I'm going to make her hair wavy by adding some thick lines. Instead of just having the single lines, I'm going to try and make it look the way that Roy Lichtenstein actually draws his hair.
have to colour, I like to put all my colours out and try and work out which colours would look best. Special Agent Fox is on a couple of the covers, so she's here. She's also here as well. I can choose the colours a little bit based on what I think will look best. But really you can choose whatever colours you like. Roy Lichtenstein uses lots of dots and sometimes he uses lines as well, like stripes. I'm trying to make it look like his work, but also um, I'm going to use a little bit of creative license for whatever I think looks best. it. I'm kind of doing the, the dots um, as though they're in a triangle shape. I don't know if you can see that. Take your time, do it as like a relaxing sort of thing. There's no rush to get it done. If you rush, you might not be happy with the results, but at the same time, if you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. Because if you make a small mistake, you might be able to see it, but other people probably won't even notice. And they won't even think that it's a mistake. Also, I'm trying to keep my marker kind of more upright. Also, you can look back on what you've done. I've got the dots a little bit more spaced close together up the top and then down the bottom, they're becoming a little bit more spaced out. I'm not meaning to do that, but you need to look back on what you've done and see if you need to fix anything. I don't think it really matters. It's just the effect that we're going for. I'm trying to do them kind of in a straight line across, but it's not completely straight and that's okay. I could use a roller if I wanted to, but I'm okay with how it's looking. So the way I've done the hair is I've thought about the artwork of Roy Lichtenstein and I've thought about how he does it. I did the black first and then the yellow afterwards. And I've literally just looked at his artwork and decided, okay, how does he do it? And I tried to do it like him. With the ears, I have 
um, actually used a pencil and I've used this pencil to just um, add a little bit of shading with the eyelids I've actually used both a marker and a pencil so um, I actually used a marker that was running out a little bit and then I wanted to use a pencil as well just to make it so that there was not very much white also with the iris I've added some color with a pencil so that it wasn't completely completely white but I also used a marker as well so I used the marker first and then I just added a tiny tiny bit of color in between I've also done that with the the hair tie as well I added just a little bit of pencil in there so that it wasn't completely white I've also at the end gone over some of it with my my black marker so I felt like some of the lines down the bottom needed to be done again so that they were darker and then I've just added the lines here as well so that's my finished artwork and I'm pretty happy with it just remember when you're making your own artwork that it doesn't matter if you make some mistakes because when other people look at it they're not necessarily going to think that it's mistakes enjoy making your own artwork and I'll see you in the next video.